y'all. It's Shannon from Creative Chaos in Tennessee. And today we are back with day nine of 30 Days of Sketches with Christy's Beautiful Wife. And today's sketch is designed by Jessica Finn Hill. And I absolutely love it just for the fact that it has sunflowers on it. But um, I have like a gazillion million um, sunflower pictures but I decided I wasn't going to do sunflower pictures but I decided that I was going to use up all swap stuff I wasn't going to use patterned paper um, this time because all this stuff matches so well um, it all came from I want to say all these flowers and this um, embossed paper all came from the Mayflower swap. And this butterfly, um, I want to say it came from a different swap group. It came in a group of three butterflies. But it's amazing to me how well everything coordinates. And this little girl I made um, for an upcoming swap on Ginger's Corner that um, is for the purple swap. So... I love it. Um, and I just pulled out some bling. I thought that I would do a little bit of um, mixed media. Not necessarily mixed media, but um, some smushing technique. I'm using this Dusty Concord Distress Oxide. These are pictures of my best friend, Steph. Um, for her birthday, she was turning 38. And I made her a cake. And... Um, I was just using what I had on hand here at home and I cut flowers that were all edible and put it on there. But by the time I got to her house, um, <laughs> most of the icing had fell off the cake. I guess it was still a little bit warm because I was in a hurry to get it done and take it to her. And But it tasted just as good, um, even though it wasn't as pretty. Um, so... Um, like I said, I made this girl. I'm not sure this one's not signed. Um, all of these flowers were made by Julie Hendershot. And this greenery came from, um, my buddy Sherry in a partner swap that we did. Um, this says Mary made it. And I'm pretty sure it's from the Ginger's Quarter, uh, Mayflower swap. And then Julie also made this. Um, I want to say for the ticket swap, maybe, that we did. And this embossed piece is by Peggy Shaw. Um, and I love it. Like, it's so pretty. It has so much texture. Um, so, that's what I'm going to use. And this is from... I believe this is from that Maggie Holmes um, garden party um, collection. I'm pretty sure. And then for my um, 38, I didn't have a 3 um, left in these. So this is like the and sign, I guess. It's supposed to be like an ampersand. But I'm going to like um, chop it up a little bit and make it a 3. Because I want to get those used up. Okay. Let me move this stuff so that I can do some smushing. I hope you guys are following along with everyone playing. Um, and a big thank you to Christy because she puts all of that together and... Um, she's done it for quite a few years, and I know that it's a lot of work and a lot of time, and it is appreciated. Okay. I love doing monochromatic layouts. I don't do it super often. Um, but I feel like it's such a challenge to do it, and it's always turns out so pretty because everything matches and it just blows my mind on um, how all these swaps were different were from different um, 
swap groups and different swappers. And, I mean, nobody knows what anybody else is making. So, for it to, like, you know, to get a swap and everything perfectly matches, it's just, I love it. And that I draw inspiration from that also whenever I see stuff that's all together and I'm like, ooh, all that matches. That would be perfect on a layout together. So then I'll usually pull that stuff out and lay it aside together and then whenever I get a chance to work on a layout, I do. Okay, so it ain't going to be perfect. I want some white space left. Um, I'm going to change it up from the, um, from the layout. Um, she has three pictures here. I'm just going to use two um, because one of mine is, is bigger. It's still a four by six. Um, but I wanted to use this um, instead of using that patterned paper. And I thought I would just put it here and then add, um, add some stuff in. Add my picture here and make like a little cluster here with things. Um, just to kind of symbolize how she has three pictures. So, I'm just going to liquid glue this down. And normally I would use my tacky glue just to make sure it holds good since it is textured. Um, but I'm just going to use this glue and hope for the best. <laughs> Go with the flow. Okay. So I have that there. So I am going to add my picture in. Um, hopefully that isn't a gigantic glare because I can't see. Um, let's see here. And if there's a glare, I, I apologize. I'm still trying to work out what I'm going to do about my lighting and stand issue. Haven't had anyone else give me any suggestions um, on what kind of stand they use. So, um, it's kind of trial and error, I guess, at this point. I'm going to have 5 million phone stands and none of them work out. <laughs> so, okay. So, I think I'm going to just start out with adding my bigger stuff first, and then I'll use these little flowers and the greenery to build a cluster around it. So, since she has the notebook paper um, there, I think I will put mine there also. And then, I think I want to, I think I'm going to just put this one straight down on there, but I think I might pop this one up with some foam tape. This is one of my new little girls that I got since I did um, my video, and I'm loving her. I got another one, too, and I got a bunch more ordered, so we're going to be having girls on everything, <laughs> but I love them. They're so cute. They'd be cute to use on cards or in a journal or whatever. I like using them on my layouts, but I do have three... Um, Three girl grandbabies, so I got calls. I could use them up. Um, I think I'm just gonna glue that on there. And then I think I'm gonna glue this one on. And then I want to pretty much build my clusters. I'm going to um, put the, a little piece of foam tape on this. I think I want to put it up here. Since I'm not having the little flowers around the edges, um, I think I want to do that. Oh my gosh. The saga of the gnat. Did I get it? I didn't. Dang it. 
So if you watched the last video, you will know I was struggling with a gnat flying around. And I got one of them. But apparently there's another one. And I'm filming all these back to back tonight. So it's not that I have a horrible issue with gnats. It's just uh, it's the same time and I'm still struggling with these couple that's in here from something. And I don't know what. <laughs> I'm pretty much just building up a little cluster um, of flowers, just using different sized ones. These are so pretty. I'm pretty sure that she made the paper and then she used her die cut to cut them out. And I'm not positive, but that's what it looks like to me that she um, did maybe smooshing on the paper and then um, it looks like she put some dots and stuff on there so I love them Julie you did wonderful I always say that teal is my favorite color but I think I use purple probably more than I use teal because I, I don't know what it is I just I love purple I think I'll put that one there. So I've got a whole little scene pretty much playing out over here. And I need to put some leaves down. Um, I'll go down a little bit more. Okay, there we go. And then put some more. Let me put a little piece of foam tape on here just to give it a little bit of dimension. On one of them at least. Well, I could do both of them. I'll tear it in half. Alright. Hope you guys go over and follow along with everyone else that's playing. Check out the Facebook group. All the link for that stuff is below. I will, um, do I want this here? I will always put close ups um, at the end of the video. Sorry, trying to get that gnat. I think I got it. I don't know. I'll know in a minute when it starts flying around again. Okay. Get the little pieces out. Okay. I think I got it. I always add a little bit of glue on these because I feel like they don't stick that great. So, that's just a little extra insurance. Um, I think I want to put it across here. I didn't get that gnat. Dang it. It's right in my face. Okay. Hold that down for a minute. Mmm. Still didn't get it. Okay. Hopefully these will come up pretty easy. I didn't have nothing else to stick them to at the time. Okay. That works out pretty good. And like I said, I'm just going to take my scissors and trim this up so that it becomes a three. I'm definitely going to make this one smaller in the center. Um, let's see here. Let me take that part off so that it'll somewhat match the bottom. And make this smaller. And 
ta-da, we have a three now. Okay. Mm, I think I'll put it on this pot. Since it's against the brown, it will show up better. And then, pretty much, I'm just going to journal on here. Um, I will post close-ups at the end. Check out everyone else. Until tomorrow. Bye, y'all.